In this video, I'd like to show you how to create an ERD, or Entity Relationship Diagram, using the original 1969 Chen notation. The alternative is to use crow's foot notation that I'll show you in a different video. All right, before we get started, bear with me for about 30 seconds while I explain what we're about to do. What is an ERD? An ERD is a lot like a database schema. It shows the data involved in a software application. Often, when analyzing a business problem that you plan to solve, and I've got a little prompt or narrative right here, which is going to be a business problem. Um, oftentimes when you're solving a problem, you will have a data flow diagram or some other type of diagram that helps you look at the, soft, the, the process that you're analyzing. And then you're also going to have a diagram where you model the data and an ERD can be used for that. In the case of ERD diagrams, we deal with entities, which are things in the real world. Typically when we write software, the entities that we discover will need to become tables. We want to know what data we need for our application and how the data relates to other data in our application. And ERDs help us to do just that. So finally, let's get started. Okay, so imagine you have a little prompt here. It says model the following with an ERD. And then here's a little explanation. A veterinarian office wants to track pets and owners in their system. With respect to the relationship between pets and owners, an owner has one or more pets. Uh, a pet has one owner, each pet has a name, a birth date, and a breed. Each owner has a name, an address, and a phone number. Okay, so we need to create this. Um, I'm going to use one of the many online modeling tools. Lucid is uh, something that I have an account for. And so I'm going to click uh, New to create a new document. And I want to do Lucid Chart and start diagramming. There are many free online programs for doing diagramming for business analysts. Um, Draw.io is another. Um, Lucid Chart's been good to me, so I'm going to use them today. Okay, I want to make a an entity relationship diagram, and there are about six different types of notations for making entity relationship diagrams, even though they all communicate relatively the same thing. Uh, now, over here on the left-hand side is my palette of shapes. And by default, I don't see entity relationship there. So I'll type in entity relationship and I hit return. And there are two important ones that come up. Uh, this one right here is the crow's foot notation. And this one um, right, let's see if I go right here, I'm going to click on this one because these are the pictures that I want. It says UML entity relationship. So I click on that. And, um, whoops, not import data. I click on that, I close, and there it is. It says UML entity relationship. Okay, so let's, uh, before I start using these shapes, well, actually, let's go ahead and talk about them. Um, here's the different shapes. If I mouse over them, there's an entity, there's a weak entity, there's an attribute, a multi valued attribute, a relationship and a weak relationship. I'm gonna focus on the non-double line ones here, your entities, your attributes, and your relationships, and then we'll use lines um, that are noted up here for connecting those. Okay, so how do I break down a problem that I wanna start diagramming? Well, first off, I read the prompt or the narrative, which I just did, and the first thing I wanna do is parse out what are the entities in this problem, things that are likely to become database tables. So. I've already done that. I said, what are the entities? And I just highlighted them. I said, pets and owners are likely to be the entities. All right, so I could just go ahead and get started here and say, pull that out. I'll double click on it and I'll write owner. And I will then grab another one. And I will write pet there. Okay, step one. All right. Next thing I want to know is what's the relationship between these entities? Uh, when we're using Chen notation, commonly we want to know is this a one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many. Uh, what we mean by this is as we look at this, what's the relationship here? Um, can an owner have one or more pets? Can an owner have zero pets? Can they only have one pet? And from a pet's perspective, can they have one owner? Can they have many owners? Uh, is there a range? Um, so uh, we want to ask that question. And as it relates to the relationship, we also need a shape to connect them. So let me go ahead and add this diamond here, which we use for the relationship. And I will 
click on it and then I will type and I'll say owns. Okay, so there's gonna be a relationship and I'm gonna draw a line here. I'm gonna hover over this object and when it turns dark red, I'm gonna click and connect it to um, this one. There we go, made it out a little better. And I'm gonna click and connect it to this one. Now by default, it's added an end arrow head to this shape and I don't want that, so I don't need it in this particular diagram. Oops, I need to change that to none and change that to none. Okay, there we go. Okay, so um, back to the earlier question. Uh, what's the relationship between the entities? Well, I read it a little bit here and it says a pet has one owner uh, and that an owner has one or more pets. And so this is, I've highlighted it, a one-to-many relationship. So let's see how we do that. I click over here. So I click on the line and I just type a letter. So I'll type the letter N and N means many. And when it's put over here, what this means is that an owner can have many pets. But if we look the other direction, let me click on this line and I will type a one and then I will move that one to right there. If I look from the perspective of the pet, a pet only has one owner. Okay, so now I've completed the relationship aspect of this and I figured this all out just by parsing the narrative. Okay, last question I have is what are the attributes of the entities? So there's little shapes that I can add that uh, I can put on the diagram and show the attributes of the entities. Think of them as columns in a database table. So this represents a table of owners and this represents a table of pets and there could be columns or information of, about each of these entities. Okay, and so when I parse something out, one way that I could do that is I could highlight one entity in a particular color and then put in um, and then highlight the rest of its attributes in that same color. Um, so I've done that twice in purple and burnt orange. So you can see what are the owner's attributes and what are the pet's attributes as part of this problem. And then I could organize that a little bit further by just putting that into a table. So I could say pets have these attributes and a person has these attributes. So now that I know that information, I'm ready to finish up this very simple ERD diagram. So I come over to here and I'm gonna start with the owner. And right here, here's an attribute. And it's a little big as a shape, so I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. And I know that a person has a name. And then here's a little trick with this particular software. If you use either the Option key on a Mac or Alt on a PC, uh, you hover over a shape that you have gotten to just the right size that you want, press Alt, and then click with your mouse and it will make a copy of that, which is a lot easier than doing this over and over again and then trying to get them to be the exact same size. All right, so name, address, and we need another one. And I'll make this phone number. Ah, now it, it disappeared. What should I do? Well, I can decrease the font size with it highlighted, there we go, now it fits. Okay, so now let's go ahead and draw a plain line in between, you know, from these attributes, I'm gonna slide my screen over a little bit, um, from these attributes over to the entity. So I do that, and um, usually when you do this, it's going to default to having an arrow that looks like this. Um, so if it does do that, uh, just do the, change it to none every time. I'm trying to get that, that little red dot to line up. So I, I hover over until I get a red dot, and then I drag over to where it has another red dot, and then I let go of my mouse. Great, now I have finished up with um, setting up the attributes for this entity. Uh, now I need to refer to my notes again and say and see that oh a pet has a name a birth date and a breed so let's get that on there so creating some more name birth date and 
read. All right, so now let's go ahead and hover over that till we see that red dot appear. Connect, connect, connect. Okay, we have now completed an ERD di diagram using the 10 style notation. And one last comment I'll make about this is that uh, when you put the attributes out here outside of the entity, it fills up the, the diagram space, the canvas, pretty quickly. And for that reason, a lot of people prefer to use the crow's feet foot notation, as do I. Um, this one, I think, works pretty well for presenting to non-technical people because it sort of looks like a flowchart. Um, but for technical people, uh, especially ones that are familiar with databases, uh, the crow's uh, foot notation is going to be probably preferable.